Dr. Gonticho. <laughs> Can you tell us more about uh, dermatological surgery, uh, the future of it, uh, new techniques and, and new technologies, if, if you're working on them already? Okay. The first aspect to remark is that patients with melanoma will live more and will live better. We have in the horizon very important and very new drugs to treat patients with skin cancer, mm -hmm. especially the basal cell carcinoma, the squamous cell carcinoma, and melanoma. We will have different techniques to remove the skin cancer. We will have technology that we can see the cancer mm -hmm. and we can remove with free margins. So. We have now some topicals and some intralesional drugs that can be used to treat also skin cancer without surgery. Wow, impressive. Yeah. So where do you think are the best countries to, to get therapy if, if one needs uh, dermat dermatological surgery? Yeah, we have a very important development of this new technologies in very uh, important countries and in a lot of countries in Europe, in North America, in Asia and also in Brazil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I imagine that in Brazil you're very uh, advanced also in, in surgery and, and research. Yes, because we have a lot of people going to the sun and the incidence of skin neoplasms is very high, very high in Brazil. Mm -hmm. So we deal with patients with uh, a, a great, uh, enormous quantity of skin cancer in Brazil. So people still be aware of the importance of to avoid and use sunscreens and to avoid the sun in the period of 10 to 4 o'clock. Oh, yeah, that's, that's very important. Yeah. yeah. So one last question, um, how, how do you think uh, dermatologists as you and, and derma dermatology in general can help third world countries to get access to uh, any kind of surgery or to skin health care treatments? I have been a volunteer to help people in Brazil with a very severity disease called Seroderma pigmentosa. We have to go where they live. We have to, to go against the prejudice that they have. Mm -hmm. We have to go against uh, the difficulties that they have to have the support of their health. So some people live very far from hospitals. Mm -hmm. So we have to go there and we have to take care of them in the place where they live. Providing them uh, educational programs of health, providing them technologies, and providing them new approaches to get a better skin, to get a health skin. That they deserve. That also. they deserve, yes. Of course.